the way I see it, every movement is like the scientific method. It's a, uh, there's a, a theory, here's a problem to address, and then there's a theory uh, as to what might be, do the job. There's an experiment made, and it, all happening in light, you know, lightning speed. Muscle memory is indeed uh, the body's um, collection, uh, but uh, a lot of memories, a lot of memories, because it's the collection of models. The experience, uh, if it is meaningful, produces memories, and the, and the body is running through that stack of cards of models uh, in light speed, lightning speed, and interactively like crazy. I mean, it's just amazing how profound our kinesthetic mind is. Our, un, our sub, sub uh, cortical, uh, by and large, mind is. Because um, it needs to be, it, it, you don't have time to run signals up to the, up the spinal cord to the brain and then mull it over. The body is having to account for the world changing around it. I was a wrestler and, and uh, my sense of gravity, uh, uh, knowing and balance, what that is, <coughs> I found was always, a, as for a wrestler, very exciting because the gravity developed not only, you had a second gravity, took a compound gravity, the Earth's gravity and the, your opponent's gravity. And they both had to be addressed in the compounds made for this giant <coughs> array uh, of issues. And so everything had to be happening so fast you c couldn't begin to, to know, you couldn't begin to think about a move, you know, that was happening in the body. And not just memory. People attribute all of what I'm talking about to muscle memory. Muscle memory would be it if everything was memorized. Some things are, you know, learned, repeated and repeated. We do a lot of repetition over our lifetimes because that stuff, you know, but they're sometimes, they're, they're often they're not ever this, this identical uh, thing. So I don't call that, I think that, that, it, that it misses the point to refer to everything as muscle memory.